This six foot five guard from Madison, Wisconsin averaged almost 41 points per game this past season, and he was the second leading scorer in the entire nation. Six foot six D1 commit just helped carry his team to their first WIAA Division I state title in school history. This is Chris Davis Jr. from Sun Prairie West High School and Nolan Minasale from Marquette University High School. In his junior year, Chris had a breakout season, becoming the leading scorer in Wisconsin and the second leading scorer in the entire country, with 40.8 points per game. This comes a year after averaging a solid 24.1 points per game during his sophomore season. Along with his 41 points per game this year, he put up 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2.6 steals per game while shooting 55% on field goals and 46% on 3-pointers. He dropped over 40 points in 13 different games, including two 50-point games and a 61-point game, which was also the same game he surpassed a thousand career points. If you haven't heard his name yet, the junior out of Sun Prairie West, Chris Davis junior. He's the real deal. As just a junior scored his 1,000th career point, he scored 63 points. Sun Prairie West wins 103-91. That 61-point game was the most points in a game by any player in Wisconsin this past year, and his 980 total points ranked as the 7th most all-time in Wisconsin for a single season. From this historic season, Chris earned First Team All-Conference, Unanimous Conference Player of the Year, Division I All-State Honors, and 2024 Wisconsin State General Player of the Year Awards. From what I know, he was rated as a two-star prospect and ranked as the 18th best prospect in the state, and he holds two D1 offers from Bryant and Arkansas State. But after joining Tyler Hero's AAU team in the Nike UIBL, where he'll be playing alongside Miles Hero and a bunch of other top prospects in the state, his rankings and offers should continue to rise as more and more coaches start to take notice of his talents. For Marquette, Nolan Minasale was one of the top senior prospects, being ranked as the 10th best senior in Wisconsin at the start of the season. In his senior year, he averaged 22.1 points, 6.6 .6 rebounds, 4.6 assists, and 1.6 steals per game while shooting 60% on field goals. He had six games where he scored 30 points or more, including one 40 point game. His impressive season helped him to become the school's all time leading scorer with 1,695 points, along with earning first team all conference, conference player of the year for the second time, division one all state for the second time, and being selected as a finalist for the Wisconsin Sports Network Senior Wing Award. In the state championship, Nolan put up 29 points, six rebounds, five assists, and four blocks in an 84 to 62 victory over Arrowhead, which helped him to earn the all tournament team MVP. This state title comes 25 years after his dad won the state championship with Marquette in the WISAA tournament back in 1999. He held three D1 offers and he committed to the University of St. Thomas where he'll be attending in the fall. In today's video, we pulled up for a non-conference matchup at a neutral site with arguably the best scorer in the nation taking on one of the best seniors and best teams in Wisconsin. So enjoy and subscribe if you're new. All right guys, we're back on the road for another high school vlog. Today we're going to see the leading scorer in Wisconsin, second leading scorer in the nation, Chris Davis Jr. He's averaging 42 points per game. We're gonna go check him out today. They're playing against Marquette, who's like sixth ranked team in the state. And they've got a 6'5 big guy that's committed D1 to St. Thomas. The rest of their starters, two of them are committed D3, and one of them has a D1 offer. He's a junior. Should be another good game for you guys to enjoy. See you guys when we get there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get this vlog. to our seats. I'm about to do some vlog content for the first half and then second half I'm gonna get baseline footage. First for Sun Prairie, junior number two, Tavian Crawford. Junior number four, Chris Davis Jr. Junior number 11, Tyler Haney. Now the starting lineup for Marquette University High School. Junior number 10, Jeremiah Johnson. Senior number 20, TJ Adams. Senior number 23, Roland Minasali. Senior number 24, Ryan Behan. Senior number 30, Kate Bowden. down the crowd too.
kids in the corner were chirping. They're like, he's not passing. And then he stared him down. Yeah. Cade coming. That's Cade in them, right? Nah, yeah, they. That's not a game. Fellas, 14 to 9. Chris already has nine points, three threes. He's an unguardable, he's confident, just chuck that shit. Only missed one shot so far. It's a fadeaway. I'm surprised he missed that. He scored six points a minute. It makes sense why he dropped four. He got nine in the first two minutes. Three threes, two for three on threes, right? Yeah. That is crazy. Waddle, what you gotta say? Marquette has been up. Hey, twin. 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 Alright, so if you couldn't see the resemblance already, here's a side by side of these two. They literally got the same build, same skin, same hair, and pretty much the same face. I actually sent a picture of this kid to my parents, and they didn't even know that it was from this game. They just thought it was an old picture of Vin. That's Kaden them? Yeah, Kaden. Oh yeah, that team. Yeah, that was that, that team was tough. Five thirty-one. Chris has 19. Started off hot, but now he's missed a couple. Yeah, he hasn't scored in like five minutes. But he will still be on pace to drop 42. It's like one more bucket. He only needs one more for the pace, and then his team's doing all right, so that's why he's not like forcing it too much. But if they need him second half, he'll probably just go off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> waddle, waddle. That's, that's St. Thomas commit. Yeah. Damn, they're selling with turnovers. Forty-eight, thirty-one. 
31. Marquette just went crazy. A bunch of threes. Chris has not scored in, in a while. He had 19 in the first seven minutes and then hasn't scored since. I don't know if they're like doubling him or he's got a couple yeah. couple shots off and he's just missing. Yeah, the same threes he's hitting at the start is just missing now. A couple guys on uh, Marquette have 12 and 13. That's probably the, the D3 commit. Yeah, that number 30 got 12. Try to dunk on someone. Marquette is up 50 to 37. Chris has 23. The D1 commit on Marquette has either 12 or 15. I think another one of the D3 kids on Marquette has either 12 or 15. But Chris started off hot. He like didn't miss any threes. Then he got a little cold. And I don't know, maybe they were like doubling him or something. But he got a couple more buckets at the end. 23 in the first half. It's like 23 in the first half. So he'll be on track to get his 42. And they're losing. So he might be like on a real takeover. 40 or 50. I don't even know what's going to happen. Waddle, what you got to say? Any, uh, any thoughts? Thoughts? I mean, it's pretty much the whole team. But right, I'm gonna go get my uh, baseline footage.
Right, guys we just left the gym as you saw some prairie loss i don't know what they were doing on those last possessions but they were trying to get it to chris ended up turning it over but chris ended with 36 first half he was kind of going off like hit four threes in a row and second half he didn't hit any threes just layups and free throws i don't know we kind of thought like their offense was weird like they weren't giving him the ball enough for sure but for marquette their d1 commit dropped 40 i think so that was pretty cool both teams had some other role players playing pretty well kids on marquette had maybe 15 or 20 and someone else on some prairie had 20 but hope you all enjoyed like and subscribe if you're new let me know which other players i should try to find in wisconsin and i'll see you next vid hey! <laughs>